house. So depending on your rank is where you sleep. So these are all junior officers. Now the apartments are middle uh, middle officers. Uh -huh. Those apartments are for those who are actually on the high, a little bit of the rank, yeah. higher rank with their, from, yeah, with their families, with their families. And then when you have a bungalow to yourself, it means you are uh -huh. way out there, yes. yes. So th all those flats are for the wardens. Yes, yeah, there's a lot, of a lot, a lot, and even some of them do not have accommodation. They do not get accommodation. On the, well, that is to my right and to your left is the maximum security prison. This is the second of two in the country. The other one is in a town called Insawam in the eastern region. And so you have the hardened, hardened criminals kept in there. But unfortunately, or fortunately, our statutes still have the death penalty, but for over 20 years plus, nobody has been executed, executed uh, since the coming into effect of the 1992 constitution. But uh, we have campaigners who are campaigning that it should be expunged from the criminals, uh, laws, Offenses Act. It should be expunged from the Criminal Offenses Act. But well, it's still there. None of the presidents uh, since the last one have ever signed in the execution of any prisoner. Yes. How old is the youngest that you know of that had to come to prison? And the oldest that you personally know of? Or heard of. Okay. The oldest, I cannot tell because what the, the presidents do over the years, those people who are sentenced to death, when we are celebrating our life sentences, when we are celebrating our national anniversary like independence or like Republic Day, the, uh, the, uh, the Constitution give a prerogative to the president to commute their sentences from maybe death to life right. or from death from life to maybe two years and then out or a whole presidential pardon that is pardon them. Now it is with the law that when you are 18 years that's why you can go to jail. But when you are less than 18 years you go to the juvenile jail. Yes. So I would say that the youngest I'll say maybe are pregnant women who are sent and they give back whilst in prison so that's a young baby but the advocacy is that they have to go out now we also have what we call the prison service or the jails are are congested the jails are congested, so some, now there's the entrance to the Anchor Force Psychiatry Hospital where the mental illness uh, people are taken care of. Now, that, so the judges, they have set up some court, some days courts are sent into the jail to quickly accelerate justice for especially those who are in demand for maybe five years six years, 10 years, and they still have no good judgment. Right, right. So they have a program that they go into the prisons and then sit down and look into those cases and then either they are released or they give judgment and maybe if they see that that offense <laughs> corroborate the five years that you serve your jail term and then you're out. So the are now, to, to my left is the leprosarium. That is the leprosarium. Yeah, for the leprosy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they got there. Yeah. So, yes. So you said that the mental hospital, right there, that's the largest? It is one of two. It's so, the largest now, in Ghana. That's Asalamda. As Asalamda is smallest, but this is the largest. Okay. I know Asalamda. Asalamda, so it's one of the two. Okay. Ankafo and Accra.